Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, This Farming World, and today uh, I'm going to be doing a video on how to make cakes in Farming Simulator 2022. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys are well. So we're just going to jump straight into it, and to start with I'm going to show you what production facilities you need to have to be able to make cakes. So, for, s for a start you're going to need the grain mill, that can be found if you're on the default map here. Uh, that can be found on the map to purchase and you're going to need a bakery that's also on the map a dairy which is also on the map you also need a greenhouse which you can buy in the shop and you're going to need the sugar mill and the sugar mill will need to be placed so I'll just show you quickly on the map where everything is so here is the bakery so you simply hit escape and you can if you're on keyboard and you can click on the symbol click visit and you can go around the back and find the spanner to buy the bakery so you simply just come up to here press R and it'll give you the option to buy it if you don't already uh, so also you're going to need the grain mill same thing just click visit find the spanner press R buy that and last but not least you're going to need the dairy which also you can do the same on the map next to field 32 click here visit and you can purchase it and the next thing you're going to need the last production building is going to be in the sugar mill so what I did is just bought one so you go into constructions production factories and then you find along the bottom until you find sugar mill which is here 80,000 that's what it looks like that's what it takes it turns it into sugar so you just simply place one of them on the map uh, you can put it down anywhere but since I've already got one I'm not going to uh, so yeah, that's the first thing you're going to need production wise, um, if I get to the right thing here. So now you should, after you've gone around and brought everything, if you go into the production symbol here on the left in the escape menu, uh, you should see your bakery and it gives you the option of cake and bread. So first thing we need is flour and as you can see I've already got flour there but I'll show you how to get it anyway. So what you need to do is take wheat, barley, oats or sorghum to the grain mill. Uh, I had actually done a video on how to make bread and flour so you can go check that out too. So once you take it to the uh, grain mill, uh, you will drive, oh I just click over here. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to drive a traction trailer here and you're going to need to tip it in here. Once you've tipped your uh, grain and once you've owned the building obviously you will press on here and it say whatever you've tipped will say that it's got here on the side and what you're going to want to do is simply just make sure it's active by pressing enter so you can deactivate and activate it has to turn a little red when it's activated little red dot and you're going to need to go over to flower and you want to set it to distributing and it's as simple as that and then you tip your grain set it to distributing and leave it over time uh, and yes, so that's flour sorted. Next thing you need is sugar. So what you're gonna do is go over to your grain mill, which I just went past. Uh, not your grain mill, your sugar mill. Sorry. Um, and you're gonna need to have sugar beets. You simply just come over to the grain mill, or sugar mill. I keep calling it grain mill. Sorry about that. And you tip your trailer up, and you will see in your production menu if you go to sugar mill we will have sugar beets and simply what you're going to want to do is the same thing so if you want to take it to the bakery manually you can set it to storing and the pallets will spawn uh, or you can set it to spe selling but we're not doing that we want it on distributing and once it's set to distributing it will automatically over time send the sugar to the bakery so if we sped up time which is here we should start to see sugar start to be made okay so it doesn't do it every hour um, it just builds up and up and up and then eventually just sends it over slowly so that is that we'll leave the time sped up to times 10 just so that ticks along in the background so we've sorted our sugar milk and we've sorted the sugar so it's going to the uh, bakery and we've done the flour so next up 
what we need is milk. So, for milk, obviously, you're going to need cows. So, you can find the cow pen in construction, animals, and then it's cows along the top. And you've got your options here. I just went for the cheap one for the uh, example of this video. And to get them producing milk, what you're going to need, once you buy a cow pen, it should show on the uh, cow tab here. And what you're going to need is water and food. So what I've done is I've got the total mix ration and I've got water. And as you can see, they're eating, they're happy. Their productivity is only 10%, but that's because it will go up over time. Um, that's because I just filled it up. So, once you have given your cows the TMR, the social mix ration, and they've got water, they will start being productive and they'll start producing milk. And to gather that milk, what you need to do is buy a tanker, like here. You'll find that in the tools section, and it will be in animals. And here we go. you just got to make sure when you buy one, see this one's just for water you want to make sure it has the little milk symbol so once you've got that you simply drive up to here and press R and it will start to fill and you can see in the bottom right hand corner of my screen we've got 26% of milk so obviously there's no way of getting this to the bakery uh, automatically you simply just have to drive over and drop it off so I will drive to the bakery and show you how to unload it once we're there Okay guys, so we are at the bakery and what you want to do is drive over the grid in the floor until you see the little uh, unloading button come up you just press I and it will simply start to unload milk into the bakery. So that is that step, you just move this out of the way. So once you've done that, if you go back on the production menu, you see we now have flour, we've got plenty of sugar coming in and we have loads of milk. So next up is eggs, so we need to head back to the farm. Obviously for eggs what you're going to need is chickens. So again chickens can be found if you, in the shop if you go down to the very bottom, constructions, animals, chickens. And then you've got your option of two pens here. You simply place them down somewhere on the ground that you own. And chickens are very simple, all they need is food. So if you check on the animal tab and go to chickens, as you can see, all they need is they've got no productivity now because I don't have any food in there. But what you do is you get your grain from what you've harvested and you simply just come up to this little tipping icon, back the trailer up to here and tip and it will go in. And then over time, your chickens will start to produce eggs like this, as you can see. So, again, with the eggs, there's no way of getting it to the uh, bakery on its own you have to do it yourself so you're going to need a truck for that so what you're going to need to do is obviously drive your truck around and get your eggs loaded up and take them to the bakery um, but while I'm here and uh, we've got our strawberries as well we're going to do strawberries at the same time so as you can see, strawberries are required in a cake, so you're going to need to buy a greenhouse. Greenhouses, again, are found in construction, production, and then in the little sort of tabs at the top, greenhouses. And you simply can buy whatever size you want or can afford, place it down, and once you've placed it, these will need water. So you need to buy a tanker, like I showed you earlier, uh, in the animal section and you're going to need to make sure your tanker can hold water you simply drive up to the little barrel over here and press R and it will refill or if you've got water on your map like I have over there you can back into a river and fill it up from a river for free and then simply drive along here and unload it into the greenhouse once you have done that you come inside and you press R on the icon and it will give you the option of tomatoes, lettuce and strawberries and it will sort of, this is just determining what you grow so you simply press on what you want and you activate it by pressing enter as you see 
when it's activated it will have a little dot next to it that's blue and once you've got water or strawberries you can set it to whatever you want again so for this example we need to on distributing and then this will automatically send it to the bakery um, so you will not have to worry about strawberries taking it there manually if you have that set up but if you have it in storing they will spawn outside here and you can take it yourself if you want to you just need a trailer like I've done here and you simply just need to drive it all over to the bakery so I'll take this to the bakery and show you that when I'm there okay guys so here we are back once again at the bakery so it's the same with the milk you just drive into the little uh, checkered grid on the floor and as you can see the eggs are disappearing and they are going into our bakery and um, once it's taken we will go ahead and move so the strawberries can go as well okay so there you go strawberries are all gone now in the menu if you go back to the uh, bakery you should see we have flour sugar milk eggs and strawberries so there's one thing missing and that is butter so in order to get butter we need milk again so I'll just take this out of that so uh, so we're going to need to use our tractor here again to collect more milk but I won't do it I'll just explain it so we're going to need to go back over to our cow pasture and get some more milk from here once the cows have made it and what we're going to want to do is take it over to our dairy so imagine you're in your tractor and you just want to make sure you obviously own the dairy you're going to want to drive it around to here so I've actually done this off screen in preparation you just drive in and press I once the trailer's in here with all the milk in it and it will unload into the uh, factory and you can either have it so the butter spawns outside or you can go back to your production menu uh, and find it which is here and ideally the best way to have it is so like we did with the strawberries and like we did with the flour is you're going to set it to not storing to not selling to dis distributing and then over time the butter will just arrive at the bakeries sort of it's it takes a step out of it or if you want to play realistic or you want to deliver it yourself you can obviously bring the truck like we we're just in and uh, you're going to need a forklift to pick this up and you simply just pick it up, put it on the trailer and drive it back to the bakery like we did already. So what I'm going to do, speed up time and be back with you once the butter has arrived. So just to make sure for everyone, since I've just made this mistake, you need to make sure that once your uh, butter is set to distributing, that it is actually activated. And to do that, you obviously hit enter down here to turn it on and off. So you see the dot reappear. So once something's activated and working, you have a blue dot next to it. When it's not, you have a, a red dot. So obviously this can't be activated because it's missing materials. So you've got to make sure that when you leave these running to on set on distributing, that they are all got a little blue dot next to them, which means they are functioning. So what we should see now, now that it's activated, is that we have everything we need to start making cakes. So... With the cakes, it's the same again. You have to make sure it's got the blue dot, make sure it's activated, which it is. As you can see, we've got one litre of cake. So, for the same with this, you can set it to selling, distributing, or storing. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to have it on storing so we can actually see the uh, pallet of cake spawn and we can take it manually to the sell point. But you can have it set so it sells itself by leaving it on the selling. You can't have it on distributing because it won't go anywhere because this is the final product so it can't go to anything else. So yeah, what I'm going to do is wait for some time to pass and hopefully we will get a pallet of cake spawn. Okay everyone, so here we are. As you can see, we have got our pallet of cake spawn. So what I did was slept through the night and the production, the bakery went overnight and in the morning there was this lovely pallet of cake here uh, as you can see they're quite nicely detailed and there is 400 litres in a um, pallet so uh, they're not as big as the other pallets so they're not a thousand litres but yeah it's pretty interesting 
So what we're going to need to do now is get the forklift from here, load it onto our truck, and we're going to just see on the menu where cake is selling the best by clicking on it, and there's only one place to sell it, and that is the farm shop. So that is where we're going to have to take it. As you can see, we've got another pallet just spawned. So I'll get these loaded up, and yeah, be back to you once we're on the way to the farm shop. Okay, so I have got our cakes loaded up. As you can see, they're strapped down <laughs> on the trailer. And as we said before, the farm shop is the best place to sell. So what you want to do is go to the farm shop. If you don't know where it is, tag it and drive over to there. And I'll show you it's selling when we get there. Okay, guys, here we are at the farm shop. So you just drive through round to the back of the shop. And you see the checkered marks on the floor and you simply just drive into those checkered marks and as you can see our cake is being sold and yeah just like that there we go from two pallets we just got seven thousand nine hundred and forty pounds so if you are willing to go through all of that process then i guess it is good money but uh, i know for sure when you are going to try and make cakes, you need a very well established safe game or one that you're just having fun on like me here that with a lot of money because you do need obviously a sugar mill, greenhouse, uh, the dairy, the bakery and the grain mill and you need flour and you need um, sugar so you need sugar beets and you need cows for the milk and you need chickens for the eggs and Yes, a greenhouse and strawberries. So, in my opinion, I think uh, the cakes maybe should be worth a little bit more uh, because there's a lot of work that goes into them and you need to be such a well-established farm to be able to make them anyway. Um, but yeah, that is the process on how to make cakes. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. And I hope that uh, I didn't go too quickly in this uh, description and I... Hope you guys can follow it well. Um, yeah, thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.